This place. Can you feel it? There are no Pokemon here at all. Time isn't flowing, and space isn't stable. A world where the rules are broken. A space one might call the Distortion World. Let's find Giratina. We needed to stop the spreading distortion at the Spear Pillar. That was... Giratina! We have to hurry. If something's not done, the distortion will swallow not only our world, it will overwhelm the distortion world. And welcome to the distortion world. It can be said as uh, Game Freak's first expedition into 3D. <laughs> All right. This rock slab, it appears to move if you step on a certain spot. Well, good thing it's obvious which spot it is. Kind of crazy, huh? This place is weird. Will we get to see Giratina if we keep going down? Into the distortion world, are we really traveling downward? Oh, well, we best follow Cynthia, I suppose. My repel wore off, and that doesn't really matter, actually. Because there are no wild Pokemon here. The only Pokemon that resides here is Giratina. But Mesprit's here to show us the way. So we don't want to head this way. Not that there's any way we could go. But we do have to climb the walls. Look at that. Isn't that freaky? Also, the camera angle is weird. <laughs> Alright. Guess this will take us down as well. Can we go this way? I guess this will take us upward. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Well, I guess this is the wrong way to go. Well, that looks right. And we're gonna go here. And it's Cynthia. The legend of Giratina has been all but forgotten, but to a few. The legend told of a world on the other side of ours. This world. Why does this world exist? Why is Giratina here all alone? There's so much that can't be explained. But we have things to do. Let's split up. We have to find the right way. Sounds like a plan to me. As I try to maneuver here. Because the game... The game is not meant to be operated in 3D. That's the, the one concern I have. Uh, looks like we're not going that way. Are we gonna go this way? We're gonna go this way. It's basically just a giant puzzle hallway maze thing. I mean, not that there's actually anything difficult about getting through here. You just kind of find the right way and go. Did I just go in a circle? Kind of looks like it. I guess we're not going that way. Is there a different way I can go? Ah! I get it now. Then we can head north. And that'll take us down. Any lower for us? I guess we can head over here. Let's take us lower. Oh, a pathway just randomly appeared. Cyrus. The shadowy Pokemon isn't here. It abandoned me here, then disappeared somewhere farther down. Was it content merely to interfere with my plan? Incidentally, do you understand the concept of genes? Yeah, sort of. If it's true, you've impressed me. Genes can be considered the blueprints of all life forms. That includes humans and Pokemon alike. Genes are contained in a DNA strand. A DNA strand consists of two chains of opposing characteristics in a spiral. 
If one of the chains were to be broken, the other could replicate it. One or the other cannot exist without its opposite. Do you understand where I'm going with this? This is a bizarre world. Time doesn't flow. Space isn't stable. Only that shadowy Pokemon lives here. This world is the opposite of our world. Our world I wish to change. It is like the two chains composing a strand of DNA. The two worlds must be balancing each other to remain its existence. Without the one, the other cannot exist. The shadowy Pokemon must play a role in keeping the worlds in balance. That is why it must have interfered and brought me here. The shadowy Pokemon must have made this bizarre world. That's why trying to change our world disturbed it and made it reveal itself. But that is all irrelevant. What matters is defeating that Pokemon and making this world disappear. I won't allow it to interfere with me again. With it gone, neither world will be able to revert to its original state. You know, Cyrus, maybe it, it's just trying to let you know or something, you know? Can we go over here? We cannot. It just kind of fades out of existence. But we can go here. Miraculously. <laughs> oh, I guess we're not going this way. Nope, 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 nope. It doesn't want us to go that way. Can we head this way? I suppose not. Where is the Nintendo's to go then? Up this way? I suppose that's also true. Nope. Just, you know, randomly disappearing platforms, because that's a thing that happens. Also, why can I not step on this from any other direction? Do I have to be facing up in order for this to work? Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> we broke the coating, so we made it so you could only step on it one way. This place is super freaky, though, all things considered. Oopsie. Oopsie's kind of just pointing out what we have to do here. We have to use strength! Which apparently they were okay with using strength puzzles in here because you're forced to use strength to get here anyway. Uh, also, surf. Because that's required too. Um, I guess we're gonna go down this way. Oh, wait. I'm dumb. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, let me try that again. I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to push it into the one that Ooxie's right next to. But I pushed it into that one just because, you know, I'm not thinking. I'm dumb. I'm real dumb. Push it. Push it. Good job. Up, 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 up. One more down. And in. I don't know what that did, but it did something. <laughs> Hooksy seems to be happy. This place. It seems to be a giant puzzle. Maybe Giratina wants to test those that visit here? It appears as if we can't go on unless we solve the puzzle. There are some boulders that could be moved, and there are several odd pits on the floor. The Pokemon of the lake seem eager to show us something. Yeah, Ooxie was kind of already on top of that. You know. There's Mesprit. Mesprit. Alright, I understand. Push the hole, push the rock down the hole. Make our way down there, which actually we can't make it down from there. Can we make it down from here? I think this platform will. No, this platform moves up. Huh? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Am I supposed to go up and around? Up and down and all around. I think that is. 
Okay. Yeah, there's... Oh, my goodness. Stuff is changing. Oh, that is Giratina. Just kind of flying around. Oh, my goodness. Wish stuff would stop growing right in front of me. That'd be really swell. Wait, why am I going up? I really just wanted to go and do the thing. Where will this take me? Back down. I saw Cyrus. There's Giratina again. Uh, this is confusing because camera angles. Who wants to go on the waterfall that we don't even have the HM for waterfall? <laughs> this also takes a really long time. We're just kind of sideways surfing right now. And it looks really cool, but it takes too long. There's Azelf. Down the hole. It's too bad we can't follow it down the hole. Really hate that they made me go all all around like that just to get the stupid rock for As Elves puzzle. And if you push it into the wrong one for whatever reason, guess what? You kind of go all the way around again. Is there anything over here? No, this rock blocks my path. Lame. No. Why did I do that? There we go. Well, let's go see what Cynthia has to say. Can we move on, Cynthia? I guess the Pokemon with legs must have gone home. I understand they can keep balance against either Palkia or Dialga. Does it mean they can't do that with Giratina? Oops, this is no time for idle chit-chat. Cyrus is down here. How'd he get down here? Then again, I suppose Giratina probably swooped him away. This is it. Giratina is up ahead. Yeah, and so is Cyrus. So, you were here already. Why do you seek to change the world? If you hate our world, you should just go off somewhere alone. Find somewhere where you can live without seeing others. Why should I run and hide from the world and have to wait quietly? My aim is to rid our world of the vague and incomplete thing we call spirit. By freeing ourselves of that, our world can be made complete. This is my justice. No one can interfere. Are you sure about that, dude? But that's no justice at all. I won't lose. Not to that shadowy Pokemon. Not in any worthless world. You were challenged by the galactic boss, Cyrus. Cyrus leads off with a Houndoom, level 45. Dark fire type with the ability Flash Fire. Has the moose flamethrower, dark pulse, will o' wisp, and thunder fang. I should have switched my Pokemon around, I forgot. Oops. Um, what do we want to do here, actually? What is it going to go for? Probably dark pulse. 
My throat also really hurts from doing Cyrus's voice. <laughs> yeah, Dark Pulse was right. We'll resist that okay, I guess. Not really. Um, Brick Break. We're slower than a Houndoom. Welp. <laughs> We're dead. I should have went in the Floatzel. Dexter, you're up. Finish the job that Don Garo could not. Surf away! It does not do enough. That's fine, we should be able to... It didn't go for Thunderfang? You are a mysterious kind, Houndoom. We are faster than it, so I'm just gonna go for another Surf. Not gonna chance the Aqua Jet not doing enough. Even though I'm sure it would. Because our attack stat is much higher than our special attack stat. Starfire got a level. Daxter almost got another level. Next up is this Gyarados. He's leading off with both of his new Pokemon. If you remember, in the last battle at the Galactic uh, Veilstone building, he did not have a Houndoom. He also did not have a Gyarados. Gyarados, level 46. Water flying type with ability Intimidate. Has the moves Waterfall, Ice Fang, Earthquake, and Giga Impact. Yeah, the Earthquake's kind of scary, but we're kind of... We're a bulky electric type, all things considered. Like, not like really bulky, but like more bulky than like a Pikachu or Raichu. Just, you know, gonna kind of throw that out there as we get destroyed by this earthquake. Watch. Oh! Trunks held on! Look at that. Four times super effective, plus stab. What do you got, Trunks? That's not as good as I was hoping. That really wasn't. I know you're seven levels lower. Yeah, like, difficulty spike much. But, oh my goodness. Um, I have a feeling he's gonna go for a waterfall. I really, like, feel the waterfall coming. And with that, I kind of want to go into Earthshaker. But if I go into Earthshaker, he's just going to Ice Fang and that's going to KO me. I don't actually know what to do here. Because if I just, if I use a Hyper Potion, he's just going to Earthquake again, I'm back down to that. Um... Trunks, I need you to be a, a sacrifice really quick. Not to totally use you, Trunks, but... Oh, it's another Earthquake. Alright. I could have totally gone into um, Earthshaker. It would have been... Would have been not very effective. We're gonna go into Ness. Because I know Ness is going to be faster than the Gyarados. That's what I'm talking about right there. Psychic might not be super effective, but we got him low enough that I'm sure... Yeah, took him out. Not a problem. Daxter's going to gain a bit of experience. So is Ness. Next up is this Honchkrow. Who I would love to have Trunks for right now. Um... Damn. I'm going to go ahead and go out into Daxter. Alright, Cyrus' Honchkrow, level 47, dark flying type with the ability Insomnia. Has the moves Drill Pack, Night Slash, Heat Wave, and Psychic. You might be noticing it's not holding a Citrus Berry like it was last time. Because it is no longer Cyrus's ace in the hole. Alright, Daxter got to heal up because Trunk sacrificed himself, so Daxter, you get to take a drill peck to the face. Ouch. That's gonna hurt a lot. That's that's KO. Oh, live on two! Perfect, Daxter. I get to fully heal Trunks. I can't believe that worked.
I really wish I had a better electric type move than Spark, though. Like a physical electric type move. Not, you know, like Thunderbolt or something. Like, uh, like I don't know. Uh, Wild Charge isn't in this generation, but I wish I had that. Um, I feel a Night Slash coming my way. I don't know if... He's eight levels higher than me. What's the chance that I'm going to live a Night Slash? Or take two hits from a Night Slash before I can get a Spark off. Very little. We went for a Heat Wave. I mean, I guess my special defense is lower than my physical defense. That did about half. Hmm, we might be able to get away with this. Flip on three, get a spark off, and... Bye-bye, Hanscrow. Trunks, you better get a level up for that. Miraculous performance. I mean, you're holding the EXP share, so you got a boosted experience, even. Next up, it says Weavile. Guess we're going into Starfire. Since uh, Don Garo kind of fainted early on. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. <laughs> All right. Cyrus is Weavile, level 48. Dark Ice type with the ability Pressure. Holding that Citrus Berry because Weavile became his ace in the hole. After it evolved from Sneasel, of course. Night Slash, Ice Punch, X Scissor and fake out. I'm expecting the fake out this turn, so I'm actually going to use this turn to heal. Really smart of me, isn't it? I think it's pretty smart. Oh, he didn't bother fake out. Okay. Okay. Like, really, okay. Totally expected the, uh... Yeah, Night Slash did a lot more than I was expecting it to. Um... That did almost 70. There is no way I'm living. Um, and we're probably not faster. That's the other concern. Is that, yeah, no, 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 Weavile's base speed is 125. We are not outspeeding that. Um, shoot. I need Don Garo up. Um, I don't want to go into Dangero just yet. Starfire, you're 93. Dangero is slower. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shoot. I'm not actually sure what to do here. No, wait, I need Ness still. Crap. Nope. <laughs> I was kind of hoping... I was, I was really hoping. If I had a focus sash, man. Like, I know Alakazam is slower, and I still need Alakazam for his last Mon. Shite. That was ballsy, and I shouldn't have gone for it. You have Ice Punch, so I can't send Earthshaker in. Well... I should have sent Earthshaker in in the first place because then I would at least have Don Garo healed up. And this is my last Hyper Potion. Holy crap. I really, really, really hope Don Garo can take a hit. He's not taking a hit. <laughs> Ten level difference? There's no way I'm taking a hit. Alright, Ice Punch is his best bet. Please, Don Garo. Oh, Don Garo took it. Get the Brick Break off. Four times super effective plus stab. 
and Weavile is frail as all hell. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you deserve that experience. And last but not least is Crobat. Who do we still have alive? Trunks? Sweet. Alright, Cyrus is Crobat, level 46. Poison flying type with the ability Inner Focus. Has a moves Cross Poison, Air Slash, Toxic, and Confuse Ray. I'm gonna be ballsy, actually. Ooh, he went straight for the Cross Poison. I was expecting the Confuse Ray or the Toxic or something. Cross Poison didn't do much at all. Is Crobat a. S I thought Crobat was a physical attacker. Like, a fast physical attacker. I thought... Isn't it? Yeah, it's attack stats higher than it's special attack. I know that, like, it's, it's big thing is that it base 130 speed, but... Really? Cross Poison only did that much? Alright. It's gonna go for the Toxic. That's fine. We have a full Restore. If I absolutely need it. That Cross Poison didn't even do 40, though. I thought Cross Poison was actually like a good poison type move. Yeah, Cross Poison is 70 power. What the heck? Whatever. A Charged Spark took it out, so. 2010 experience for me. I would accept this. This can't be. Not after all the sacrifices we've made to get this far. What of my new world? Of my new galaxy? My voice is just... <coughs> <coughs> it broke. I broke. <coughs> Don't think that you can defeat or capture that Pokemon. This bizarre world is none other than that Pokemon itself. Capturing it or defeating it will make this world disappear. Very well. Do what you will. Rather than repairing the world, you're going to destroy it for me. Do it. You inherit my legacy. Don't believe his lies. It's not possible that a Pokemon can make the world disappear. The world awaited your birth. Not only yours, the either. The Pokemon with you. The people close to you. All the Pokemon and people were born because they, were, they have a part in the world. I'm convinced of that. Giratina won't go out of existence. This distortion world won't disappear. Our world won't disappear either. Let's go and meet Giratina. Oops. I should do something about your hardworking Pokemon first. Yes, please. Cynthia fully healed Knight's Pokemon. Thank you. Now let's go meet Giratina. Giratina is enraged because the two worlds have, are endangered. It has merged the distortion world and our world at the Spear Pillar. That's why both worlds are becoming distorted. But there's nothing to fear. You can defeat Giratina and show the tight bond you share with your Pokemon. Or you can demonstrate just how much you wanted to join you. If you succeed in doing either, Giratina will understand. The distortion of the two worlds will stop. You know what? I think you're right, Cynthia. I think you're right. Giratina is quietly eyeing night. As you should always do before your your encounters with legendary Pokemon. It's time to save the game. Trust me, I plan on catching Giratina. Alright, Giratina. Let's do this. The Distortion World's Giratina appeared. 
All right, let's, uh, how do we want to do this? Fire blast sounds like a good idea. Sounds like a definite good idea. Dragon Claw hurts a lot. <laughs> All right, Giratina, the legendary ghost and dragon type Pokemon. Comes in at level 47 with the ability Pressure in its altered form. In this form, however, it's got Levitate. So ground type attacks are not going to be hitting it. Uh, neither are fighting type attacks because it's part ghost. So, Don Garo, you're, you're, you're practically useless. You have Sucker Punch though. Yeah, Don Garo is basically useless though. <laughs> um, what do we got as far as moves are concerned though? Let me see here. Let me pull up my notes and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna go into trunks because I'm gonna try to paralyze it. I don't think we'll be successful in paralyzing it, but it'd be worth trying. Let's see here. Level 47. Giratina is gonna have. Shadow Force, Dragon Claw, Ancient Power, and Ominous Wind. Speaking of Shadow Force, when Giratina goes for Shadow Force, I do recommend switching into a normal type Pokemon if you have it. I do not. The one screwy thing about when it does Ominous Wind is that you can't throw a Pokeball at it, I don't think. Pretty sure you can. Nope. It's possible to aim at a Pokemon that's not in sight. We're gonna go ahead and go for the Spark though, because even though it's gonna hit us with Shadow Force, we hit that after Shadow Force, so that's not a problem. It's gonna do a lot of damage to us though. I'd really like it though if this Spark could paralyze. If we could get lucky. No? Okay, that's fine. It's gonna throw rocks at me now. That's a critical hit. Um. I don't have any other status inflicting moves. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> okay, let's go into Dongaro. Don is not actually going to be able to do much, but a Sucker Punch is possible. I don't know how much that's going to do, but it is super effective. Not too much, actually. I'm willing to go for one more Sucker Punch before we start chucking Pokeballs at it, though. That did a nice amount, all things considered. All right, use the next Pokemon. Let's go into Earthshaker. Get my defensive wall up and out. Because we are about to start checking out some Pokeballs. So in case you don't know me, I'm that idiot that throws Pokeballs at legendary Pokemon. So let's see how well this goes over. Not very well at all. Come on, it shook three times! Bam! There we go. Yeah, I gave up on the whole catching it in a Pokeball thing. That wasn't working out for me. <laughs> I had to reset three times to get this damn thing in a stay in a ball. 
Number 210, Giratina, the renegade Pokemon. Ghost Dragon type. It's very tall and very large. Something. It does not have a footprint. It was banished for its violence. It silently gazed upon the old world from the distortion world. Give a nickname to the Giratina that you just caught. I think that'd be fantastic. The Dallas. Giratina seems to have understood us. That Pokemon. That shadowy Pokemon. Uh, that shadowy Pokemon was captured. Oh, I, I spoke that as the wrong person. Ha <laughs> ha! Your doing so means this irrational world will remain in existence. Does that make it impossible for me to create a new world? Even if I made new right chains, the new world can't be made. Why? What compels you to protect the two worlds? Is spirit a vague and incomplete thing so important to you? The places we are born. The time we spend living. The languages we speak. We are all different, but the presence of Pokemon unites us. We share our lives with our Pokemon, and our happiness grows as we all become greater than we were alone. That is why we can battle and trade with anyone we choose. Silence! Enough of your blathering! That's how you justify spirit as something worthwhile? That is merely human ho humans hoping, deluding themselves that they are happy and safe. The emotions roiling inside me, rage, hatred, frustration. These ugly emotions arise because of my own incomplete spirit. Enough, we will never see eye to eye. This I promise you, I will break the secrets of the world. With that knowledge, I will create my own complete world. It'll be perfect. One day, you will awaken to a world of my creation. A world without spirit. Damn, Cyrus' voice just wrecks my throat. Since there is sadness, we can feel joy. When there is anger, compassion is born. Let's go back home. The portal where Giratina was should lead back to our world. Giratina was written in legend as being on the other side of our world. It stands to reason that it has a link to the other side. I sure hope you're right, Cynthia. There's a portal where Giratina was. Will you leap into the portal? I guess we're blindly leaping. This place! It's the Sendoff Spring. It's said to somehow lead to the great beyond. And Giratina was said to live in a world on the opposite side of ours. Oh, I'm sincerely sorry. It's very rude of me. Knight, you're incredible. You really are a fantastic trainer. Let me say this on behalf of all of Sinnoh. Knight, thank you. Oh, that's right. You have to go tell Professor Rowan. He was very worried about you. You should visit him at his lab. Sounds like a great idea as she blocks the entrance to the cave. Also, we totally should have brought Starly with. <laughs> I chose not to, though. Which, that's okay. We have rock climb, so we can get out of here. The game's not gonna trap us in here. Um... What do I want to do here? Super Repel. Oh my goodness, this recording is way longer than I expected it to be. That took way too long to capture Giratina. Like, I had a soft reset. Oh my goodness, there are high level Pokemon here. It's a Staravia at level 38. Oh, Don Garo's leading the party, that's why. <laughs> okay, I see, I see. I had a soft reset four times, I think. It was either three or four times. I took one step. I took one step. And I can't escape. Oh, thank you for not going for like wing attack or something. That would have been ridiculous. Do I have to, like, revive someone so that this stops happening? Actually, no, Earthshaker is still alive. That's right, I <laughs> I used a uh, Max Revive on Earthshaker and then didn't even need to use him. Alright, let's head down the rocks here. 
My voice is, or my throat rather, is totally destroyed from doing Cyrus's voice. I'm probably going to have to go and redub some of that too because I just like choke and it, it's awful. Anyway, welcome back to Route 214. In case you were wondering where the heck in the, the game we were. Um, I missed this item here. It's a big root. Not that that's actually gonna help us. Um, do we have to go back to Rowan? At this point in the game, I think we're free to actually like explore the lakes and go see what the, the trio is doing. Can I? No, it looks like I have to go back and talk to Rowan. Stop, stop, yes you. Sunny Shore City. I did it again. Oh, stop talking. Okay. Looks like I'm running all the way back to Pastoria City to pick up Starly so we can fly back to Sand Gem Town. So I will meet you guys there. Meanwhile, we can check out Daedalus here. Look at Daedalus in that timer ball. Impish nature. Impish nature. That's going to give me increased defense, decreased special attack. Which is actually okay. Um, I could have a bulky Giratina. I could run bulky Giratina if I wanted to. That's actually, like, legitimately? Huh. That might not be too bad. I mean, like, it's a mixed attacker, but being impish, I can run it with, like, well, I mean, it's got stinking uh, Dragon Claw and Shadow Force already. So, I mean, I think you could run that, maybe. I don't think anybody runs Impish Giratina. That seems kind of silly. I don't know. Would you want to run Giratina as more of a... Huh. Does it have a stat difference between Altered Form and Origin Form? Yeah, it's more... It's bulkier in altered form which it's currently in so yeah that's actually all right I see I forgot to grab Starly all right back in San Jim town let's go see what professor Rowan wants Knight, you've come back you you leave me speechless you've done it you really have done it Never has my heart pounded this hard for so long in my 60 years of living. After you left, the professor did a lot of checking around. He got really worried about you, Knight. He got in touch with people he knows to wrestle up help. You didn't need it, Knight. I'm glad to see you back safe, too. Oh yes, there was something I had to tell you. The three Pokemon of the lakes appear to have returned to their homes. So tell me, how are things going for you? The Pokedex? Hmm. A total of 162, and a number of badges. Well, you've got seven already. That only leaves Sunny Shores Gym. Hmm. You've come this far. Why not obtain Shunny, Shunny Shore, Sunny Shores bit? I can't speak words apparently. And why not challenge the Pokemon League? They will broaden your horizons further than ever before. Not to mention the opportunities to meet even more Pokemon. Thanks. I'm, I'm glad we had this chat, and I'm glad that I'm just going to ride basic right back to Pastoria City. So that I can, like, deposit basic back in the PC, grab Luxray, aka Trunks, and run over to Sunny Shore City. Because that's literally what we're going to do now. But, of course, we have to end the episode at some point. We can't go on forever! So we're going to go ahead and put Basic back in the PC, pick up Trunks, and end today's episode. So as always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like down below. This recording session might have been split up into two, possibly even three episodes. I have no idea at this point. I don't know. But uh, with that, guys, till the next one. My name is Players. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed, a dislike if you didn't, comment explaining your thoughts and feelings. And Giratina and the distortion world and if you think it's cool or not subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one